so much. This is the first time you guys are seeing me get on my BBL pillow in the car. Wow, it doesn't feel like I'm hiding this big bad secret anymore. Welcome to Christmas! It is Christmas time for all of my Halloween lovers. I am sorry to tell you that your time has come to an end, baby. You have got your eviction notice. It is time to decorate the house. I know usually all of the years I wait for like December 1st, but you know what? No. We're going straight into decor because I feel like I never have enough time with my decor. Like I put it up and then three weeks later I take it down and then it's just not. Fun. Welcome to the official Christmas decorating vlog. I cannot make any other vlogs without my house literally having a Christmas tree in every single room. Dutch Bros holiday drinks actually just came out today. I'm using my Laneige mini lip mask and this one is in mint chocolate chip. So it's actual Christmas vibes. This year I want to hit very different stores than I have the past few years. Like Macy's and... Macy's was all I had in mind. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I just hit something. I freaking hate this garage. I'm gonna end up taking this blazer out one of these days. I know I am. Hi! How are you? I'm well, how are you? Is that Yeah, can I have that like as a latte? Can I do a green tea with two rebel shots? Can I make it a strawberry flavor? I'm really excited. I got a hazelnut truffle mocha, half sweet oat milk. I'll try that one. Maybe a little sip. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much. These cups are literally so festive. No pasa nada, la verdad. You bought you <laughs> I know it's a bomb. You don't even gotta tell me. Give it, give it, hand it over. That's like giving graham crackers. I would drive to Dutch Bros every single day to get this thing. Wow, look at he gave us stickers that say rocking around. Dude, I'm so fucking excited for Christmas. Me too. And Jake's not really like the Christmas guy. I'm forcing you to be festive because you don't have another option when you walk into your house and there's like elves on the shelves everywhere, you know? Dude, isn't that a dream? Yeah, it's a dream. Thanks. Let's go to Macy's. Ah! Macy's Christmas spirit is literally unmatched. Nobody can match it. This is literally a child dream. So there's a bunch of different trees here with the ornaments. I really like this vibe. I just like the traditional red and white. Let's start with ornaments. $20 ornament right here. You're joking. But I also kind of love it. We're for sure doing these. Look at their little houses. They're so cute. And then I can put pictures of Ellie and Theana. And then I'm going to get this one in memory of you guys. The TV screen for my vlogs. Look at these cute little paws. Look at this one. It's a little circle. And then right here it says, all you need is love and a dog. I love my dog bone. This is what our basket is looking like so far. We still have so many ornaments to go. We're just going to jack this tree. Yeah, I think we're done. Maybe just one What? Look at these sheets. They're super cute. I love them. I feel like they're very Christmas vibe. But I think Target might have one that's a little cheaper. So we're going to go check there. You can't bring these little kids nowhere. Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> we found the kitchen Christmas aisle. Look it. I'm going to put these all over the living room. They're coasters, but they're Christmas tree shape. And then there's these cute little mugs that stack. Guys, look at these. They're so freaking cute. They're individuals, and they're like the perfect size to make little mini pastas. <laughs> grab some food at this place that has like some really good kebabs they're so juicy it's actually probably the best chicken i've ever had in my life <sighs> hydrate and then we go into my dutch Bruh. <laughs> so yeah we got rice salad and then my chicken kebabs on the side thank awesome you. thank you so much enjoy thank you about to say you too, she doesn't have food. <laughs> nice and fed. Now we're on our way to Bath and Body Works. Every single time we Christmas shop, we have to go to Bath and Body Works to get the air fresheners. I forgot how amazing Bath and Body Works is when it's Christmas. The plugs, the refills, this is what we need to buy. Oh. Uh, mm. Winter candy apple. Oh, I love that one. This is a, a Christmas statement. tree. Yeah, that is a Christmas tree. Not the other one. It's the same thing. Stupid. Every level of the house needs to have a different smell. That's just tradition. Hot cocoa and cream. It tastes like a hot chocolate. It tastes like a hot chocolate? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 
that one. By smelling this, you'll get probably like 30 calories. <laughs> These are the wallflowers right here. They have a lot like Christmas ones, but this Santa mail, we need it. I love it. This is gonna look so good in the house. This is what my basket's looking like. smell amazing. Look what we ran into. I swear, every single time we come out, we always run into Edith and Pop. And we always do it when we're together. Like, we ran into them at Target so many times. But anyway, all right, let's go back home and start to decorate. We are home. And we are about to holly jolly this house up. Y'all don't even know. Y'all are probably like, what the hell is that? Well, let me tell you. It is a viral Christmas tree that you've seen all over TikTok and every, every, every aesthetic household has. Well, guess what? So does Nat. Jacob has become very, very helpful when it comes to like socks and shoes. Owie, what's up with you, Minion? My hands are up. Show me your belly. Oh, that's your belly. Oh my God, size 12, men. <laughs> Ellie, excuse me, mom needs to build the tree. We do not care. Nobody in this house listens to me. I got the seven and a half foot one. This is the first face. There's a big old tag that says, pull here. I thought it was gonna be more dramatic than that, but I like it. Right, let's sit back. Okay, it has the cap. Bruh, make sure you remove Remove the caps. Pull here again. Damn it, I really wish it was more dramatic. The whole thing about this tree is that it's supposed to already like be fluff, so you just open it and it looks good. But I don't know about that. This is the last piece. Okay, here is the final tree. It has a lot of gaps in it. Like there's random little huge gaps. Maybe I need to fluff a little better. We're gonna decorate it and see. Oh, I broke the tree. Ah! Ow! For a minute there, I thought that this was gonna be too small, but now that I look at it on here, it's literally a perfect fit. Wow, that's so perfect. Nah, it's not tall enough. Did you see all that space from there to there? get bigger. We can't go any wider. I think I just need to suck it up. Maybe let's add a riser. Welcome to the garage. This is where we store all our stuff, but that's the little tree skirt that I use. It might be too big for this tree, actually. This will... You mean because it's Christmas? <laughs> um, chow. Anyway, so... Perfect. Nah, I hate that. Because that's like the same width of the tree. You get it? So I think I'm gonna try to find one that's a little smaller. And then I bought a little tree riser from Amazon to hopefully like help make the tree a little tall. All right, we gotta reorganize everything. So we're gonna get rid of this olive tree because there's too many trees going on. What are you doing? Put it down. Put the tree in there. No. Why not? All you need to do is take the moss out. Here. Quick little rundown of the things that I got. We got some soaps in the traditional classic scents. I got some body butter and winter candy apple. This is my favorite smell ever. Ooh. I have so many wallflower plugs. Every single year they come out with like a new design and I always have to buy it. I limited myself to two this year, which is progress. And then these bars were actually on sale. So in here we got all of my winter candy apple wallflower plugs, more plugs, and a very, very big classic. I got the plugs for my car because literally I need my car to be smelling like winter candy apple. If not, it's not Christmas. Let's go put these downstairs. We got all of the baskets up here and ready to decorate. Welcome to day two. We to finish in one day, which we knew was gonna happen. Today we are tackling Target. I feel like we've given Target enough time to come out with their Christmas workshop stuff. I came to a Target that is in a very nice neighborhood. I really, really hope that they have like all the stuff that I want. I'm at the dollar section. Look at these. I'm trying to debate between this one or this one. I think this one because of the green, it's giving a little bit more. I'm very visually uncomfortable. This 60 year old man literally came up to me and said, you have a very beautiful figure. Maybe if I was single and broke, I would have entertained the idea, but <laughs> PJ aisle, we need to get some PJs. I always get them when it's too late and they're all sold out. All right, let's start looking. These are my favorite, the ones that are like super soft. Okay, I'm gonna get these for me. Sock aisle, of course. We're gonna get these and these. We need a new tree skirt, because remember the one that I have? It's literally drowning my tree. Look at this one. It's beige, so it's also gonna match the house. And I, oh. Target truly did 
not have as much stuff as I thought they were gonna have. We're gonna go through my entire bins that I have right here. I don't remember how much I stored last year, but I'm hoping I stored a lot so I don't have to buy too, too much stuff. We got lots of trees, extension cords, more extension cords. Another, Another one. These are my lights, but because I have a fake tree with already pre-lit, I don't think I'm gonna use these right now. I literally found this set, and I know you guys have seen it on TikTok. It went viral. It's the viral flannel sheets, and they were 20% off, so I literally got this for $30. Let's go put this to wash so it's like ready for us when we put our whole bed together. Well, I'm all for Christmas. We found one more box. Okay. Dude, I'm missing so much stuff. Like, literally, I thought I had so much more. I thought I wasn't gonna have to buy a lot. Let's begin by taking out all of the fall stuff. My pumpkin is going away for the season. We're done. All these brown pillows are leaving us. Where are all my Christmas pillows? Everything's like gone. Let's unbox the Target stuff. I did buy some good stuff, like a new tree skirt. Look at this, isn't it so cute? I love it, it was $5. We got this little man. We got a cold brew ornament. Hello, that is so nat. A mug, I wasn't gonna get any, but I saw this one and I was like, Sold. More fuzzy socks. These were on sale. There was no way I wasn't coming home with this little thing. I got a golden retriever ornament. This cute little tree was in the dollar section, which I've never seen anything like this. At the dollar section, this shit is usually like $20. At the like magnolia section, two of these to replace the ones on my entryway table. Look at this. Isn't this the cutest? It's a log and it's frosted. It's gonna go like on a table somewhere with a candle. It's our apron to do our Christmas baking. Gingerbread little plates and they're plastic, but they were also $3 in the dollar section. And then this little spatula with the gingerbread on it. I saw this stamp and I had to. It's for cookies and it says Merry Christmas. So you can like stamp them and it'll say Merry Christmas. And then this cute little cookie jar. After having a nice evaluation through all the stuff that I have, I realized I'm missing around three boxes. That contains all of my wallflower plugs, all of my garlands that go right here on the railings, trees, signs, wherever those boxes are at. I don't know. Somebody jacked me. Something happened. It's just not here. So I'm literally gonna stop wasting time. And we're just gonna go to Target and get a few more things. I didn't buy this stuff because I thought I had it. Gosh darn it. I thought this year I'm gonna save some money. Let's go to Target again. This is my exact playlist all day. If it's not Christmas music, I'm just simply not listening to it. We just got here to Target. It is so packed. I think everybody's here for the workshop. We are in the home section. Okay, we need some little pot plant thingies. See, like pot filler. Look at how cute this is. I actually kind of like these better and these are standalone, but this is a bundle, so it's cheaper. We have all of them right here to pick from. This one has berries, pine cones, but look at this one I got so far. It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna get all these, but this is like 10 stems and they're each five dollars. Is it worth it though? Yeah, watch that. Look at this little picture. I could put like my utensils. It's very Christmas. Bro. All right, my plan did not work. This is literally, that it's not cute. So I don't think I'm gonna take it because that was literally my whole idea. They just started putting the hot cocoa stuff, but this is all they have. And then on this side, they just have these. I'm gonna get these stirs, put the stir inside of your hot chocolate and it melts sweetness into it. When I first came last week, dude, all this was still Halloween shit. The ornaments, they have all of them. There's so many. And these are all $3, which is so much cheaper than Macy's. Handmade snowballs, a need. This is all the exterior. And look at that last tree, it's flock. That's gonna look beautiful in my room. I also got these other ones and they're little lit branches to put in the front yard. I need to get out of here, I need to leave. Guys, I found it, it's right here. This is literally what I was talking about. To wrap around the stairs, this is what they had last year. Because we have so many stairs, I literally need so many of them. I had already bought them, but I don't know where they went. I called for assistance. I would have been so screwed if he didn't come. Dude, this cart is like, I'm disgusted with myself. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Your mom will spend. Christmas tree arrived. It's actually my first time not wearing my faja, like to do stuff for a vlog, cause it's in the washer, but it feels so good. I'm so mobile. I'm doing a little snack break to eat some spicy noodles, which I have not ate since my surgery. And I don't recommend doing, but I have not ate anything. No chips, no noodles, no mac and cheese cups. Nothing. For almost three months. And I'm gonna treat myself today. And I think I should be fine. I think so. We're gonna make this while we decorate, but that water needs to continue boiling. I ordered this on Amazon, let me show you. It's a tree riser. And I'm hoping that it fits, because remember how I wanted my tree to be a little taller? I think this will help save our issues. Walking around the Christmas tree. All right, I'm gonna unplug it, because what if I blow up or something? What's up? I just took it apart, let's put the piece in. It doesn't 
doesn't fit. Okay, it kind of looks funky. Even if it would have fit, I think it's too tall now. Let me make my noodles. So much stress. All to have a perfect Christmas tree because it truly is that serious. Anybody who says it's not that serious, Grinch vibes. Instant regret. Why did I eat that? Ugh. Let's begin the tree decor. Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand For the living room, I wanted to keep kind of like a very red and white theme Just to match the tree And I feel like I low-key really slayed the day with this one The side table, I ended up replacing it with a snowman, a candle And then my middle table, these little coasters are such a moment I love it, I love the way the couch turned out The couch is literally so cute and vibrant and red Now we have to literally work on the entire rest of the house staircase and I had extra but let's test it out wow look at how nice it literally elevates the staircase so much good morning welcome to the official last day of decorating which that's probably what I said two days ago but like actually today's the last day it is 7 a.m. I woke up at 6 on the dock do my makeup I actually filmed a brand deal this morning like I am go 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 babe I am a lightning bolt today I am very pumped let's work on my first floor this will make or break my day if it is dirty down here oh my god that's a bad move for the rest of the day my vibe is gonna be kind of replacing that the pot that we already have with more Christmas stuffing the pine cones that I have in the middle we're just gonna kind of keep them and add the ones that I have bought already I have this whole vision to make this place kind of look like a staple and a pretty nice thing when you walk into the house I literally love how it turned out very minimal but also really really cute I love it let's go upstairs to the master bedroom These sheets are literally so cute. They exceeded my expectations. This is a down alternative. So it's supposed to be like hypoallergenic, but that's not the reason I got it. I literally just got it because it's like a nice comforter, but it's thin and I can wash it in my own washer instead of taking it to the dry cleaners. I cannot, dude, we were paying like $80 every single time we were trying to get it clean. I had to clean it like every two weeks because of the dog. My mom brought me Dutch Bros and she's literally coming to drop it off for me. So I came to meet her closer to where she was. I don't think I've ever liked a holiday drink more than I like this particular one. Right there. What kind of parking is that? Hello. Wow, yummy. Thank you, mommy. My mom doesn't speak <laughs> English. So she showed her a picture of my order and I think she just didn't know if I wanted the cold form or not. So she put it in a separate cup for me. So if you're watching this, literally thank you so much. That's so I did want it, but it's just so thoughtful. Oh, I love this freaking drink. I present to you my bedroom Christmas tree. You can't just have a Christmas tree downstairs. You also need one in your bedroom. This was also $100, so I really hope that I love it. I love it. I think it came out perfectly. <laughs> we had to hire my dad because I'm literally trying to put something up. I didn't want to explode a pipe, so we called my dad and now he did it. Let's see, put it up. Above. Next time you want to pipe the, the 2 by 4 do it like this. Nah, I'd rather just call you. Is it gonna fall? You no, you can handle it. Okay, no, no, don't hang. <laughs> I don't think you can take that kind of weight. the day we finish the house. I have all of these garlands right here. These are frosted garlands, which I do need to incorporate because none of the stuff that I have in here is frosted. Wow, this is literally what I call progress. The house is already looking so good, but I haven't had a coffee this morning. Let's go to the farmer's market. Peppermint 
peppermint mocha, but this one is like the best peppermint mocha I've ever had. Oh, and then I got a candy cane, but I cracked it. I blame Jake. What did I do? I came to return something and I didn't bring the return. If I need to return anything else, I'll just come back. But I came to return something so I could buy extension cords. Not one oh one. And I was just too excited to shop again. We quite literally just got here. And uh, so far we got... I was here for an extension cord. <sighs> Guys, tell me why it's at 40%. And I also don't know if they price match, but I just paid full price for everything like a day ago. Wow. I'm just going to stock up on some more stuff for the outside because I don't really like how empty the front yard is right now. So look at this Santa. It's six feet tall. It's coming out of the chimney. Ch chimney. Chimney. Chimney, yeah. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you? Oh, bam. Where do you put that? It's a snowblower. Look. Oh, okay, no, no. Oh, you already got a snowstorm in there. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of hurricane type shit. Hurricane. All right, get to it. I am not being paid to do this. Your girlfriend is the reward. I guess we're cheaping out here. What did he say? Hey! Oh. Some Christmas tree cookies right now. Just four, two for me, two for Jake. The fact that we finally finished this house that I thought would never be done. Like, I really was like, there's no way I'm ever finishing this place. These are little Christmas trees and these are probably my favorite cookies ever. I cannot cook this entire thing because I will actually eat all of them and I'm not allowed to. I can't eat the way that I used to eat before. If I eat anything that will swell me, I'm in a lot of pain. I would love to have me some delicious hot chocolate, but because I am gonna be eating a cookie, that it's too much. I still want the mug vibe and we're literally just gonna put water in it. It's all about tricking your brain, to be honest. Mmm, hot chocolate, you know? Look at my little oven mitts, very in season and I know that the pan is not hot yet, but always about the spirit. In you go. It's time! Look at these, they form into actual real Christmas trees. <gasps> Loves. We're removing my makeup. It is time to go to bed. It is way past my bedtime. Usually I'm asleep by 7 p.m. and it is literally 10 and I'm not asleep. Brush my teeth. I'm in my Christmas PJs and my Christmas sheets. Life is good. I'm gonna play a Christmas movie. This is the one that we've been watching. It's called I Believe in Santa and it's literally so good. It's just such a funny, wholesome movie. All right, we're going to bed. Good night. Wow, wow, wow.